this week's rule of the week is pretty simple. We got a request from a customer for a model of a wind turbine that they could use to plan a wind farm. And Chris Wilkins actually put together a little rule package that generates a wind turbine. So if I drop it on here, boom, we get this wind turbine. Uh, so this is actually a procedurally created wind turbine, so I can change the, the attributes on it, so I can make it a three-blader, or maybe I can make it a seven-blade seven wind turbine if I want. Like, typically, I see three blades. I can change the length of the blades. So I'm going to make these 110 meters in length. I'm going to make the box that holds them a little bit more robust. Um, make the pole a little bit bigger that holds them. And let's make it uh, a little bit higher um, off the ground. And then I want to rotate it so it actually points uh, down into the valley here. Uh, so I'm going to turn it 30 more degrees, right? And I've got my wind turbine along this service road. So now that I've got that, um, I want to actually duplicate it. So I'm going to copy it, paste it, move, right? And I can just start placing my wind turbines. Um, let's put another one over here. Right? And then maybe there's a couple a little farther up the hill. All right. And there. Now the, the Fall River community is not just uh, fed by dams, but it has its own little uh, wind farm in 3D. So take a look at the rule, download it, and enjoy. And we'll see you next week with a new rule.